I've got Mayor Steve Sweeney with me. We are in the council chambers in downtown Liberty. How you doing, Mayor? Good to see you, Dave. Good to be here. Uh, Toby was wondering if he could be vice mayor for the day. Uh, uh, maybe permanently. Really? Yeah, we'd love to have him. Okay, well, any, now, what about that, huh? Well, he's not too excited about it right now. But. Yeah, any politician that sits and listens instead of talks would be welcome, <laughs> so we'd love to have him. <laughs> well, Liberty was founded by uh, Revolutionary War veterans who uh, decided to settle here in 1908 and named the town in honor of just that, freedom. So uh, it, we have a pretty long history as far as patriotism and people uh, wear that badge proudly around here. The Liberty Bell is here. It's an exact replica of the original Liberty Bell and we had it cast in, uh, in London and shipped over here by the same foundry that uh, cast the original bell. It's located at our Veterans Park, so uh, we, we have a lot of uh, patriotic emblems here in Liberty and, and we're proud of that. The Veterans Wall uh, that's at the park and there we have uh, about 17 to 1800 stones with the uh, names of veterans who have served, who are associated with Casey County or were born here. and. Uh, we have, uh, I think the earliest stone is actually 1777, uh, which happens to be one of my ancestors. So uh, we, we go back a ways. We're one of the older towns in Kentucky. And uh, we have a lot of veterans uh, here now, a lot of people who uh, take pride in serving the country. Old Glory waves proudly here, doesn't she? Yes, we have flags everywhere. We're, uh, we're very proud of the people that live here. We have a beautiful community. We're located in the Green River Valley and beautiful hills surround us. And uh, we have the Green River that flows around Liberty. It's just an idyllic place, we but think. These are the headwaters of the Green. Yeah. And uh, like my hometown in Greensburg, it, the river runs right through the middle of town. Yeah. Y'all have developed a park, uh, an island park. Yeah, Liberty Island is located just a few hundred yards from here, actually. And it's about a 23-acre island, and we've developed a walking trail around it and a trail across that links downtown Liberty to the Central Kentucky Ag Expo Center. And uh, it's uh, very much a jungle over there, but that's the way we like it. It's all a natural. A real jungle, all yeah. natural. Yeah, beautiful. And uh, we. We have uh, tried to restrain ourselves from uh, developing it further. We think people enjoy that that uh, rural setting right near a small downtown area. The Village Restaurant is located down on the bypass and has been 50, 60, maybe more years, I'm not sure. But uh, it's pretty much a landmark in Liberty. Bye. Well, Lake Liberty uh, was begun by our former mayor, Garland Hoskins, and he was uh, a visionary. He uh, would fly to Washington and drive to Frankfurt just over and over and uh, twisted a lot of arms to see that we got that lake. And now it supplies about 85% of the water for our entire community. So it's, it was a great accomplishment. I think the greatest accomplishment that we've ever had here wow. as far as preserving our community. We do allow boating, uh, no uh, motor boats on our lake because it's so small, uh, other than electric motors. We do have a lot of fishing that goes on there, a lot of recreation and uh, canoes, canoeing, sailboats, things like that on the lake. The festival. The One Case, of the biggest in the state. It is, the Case County Apple Festival, and it starts this year, I think, on the 19th of September, and uh, it has been recognized as the outstanding festival in the state. We're uh, on the verge of building a new community college right in downtown, and we think that's going to transform downtown for, for years to come. And uh, we've been working on that now for about a year and a half. And we hope in another year and a half to have it open for classes. And our two oldest businesses uh, located here are the Case County News and Farmers Deposit Bank. They were both founded in 1904, so uh, 
They've been around a long time, even yeah. even longer than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mayor, thanks for the tour of your town. Thank you, Dave. It's a pleasure. Uh, hey, I told you the vice mayor was going to lay down on the job. Yeah, he's just like a lot of other politicians. I just know it. Yeah, having a good rest. <laughs> <laughs>